Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week we will format objects in Corel Draw so they translate into layers in Photoshop. Okay guys, let's get started on this tutorial. Um, this tutorial actually came from a request um, of a viewer that actually uses Corel Draw, and they also use Photoshop, but they want their vector artwork that's in Corel Draw that they created to translate into layers in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you the best way to do that. Um, here in Corel Draw, we have just a, a new document open. It's eight and a half by eleven. That's not important. Um, what is important is that you have to have this window over here open. This objects manager. That's the most important part. And to make sure that's open, go to window here at the top, go to dockers, and then make sure that you've got object manager selected. Okay, once you've got that taken care of, then on the layer that we're on now, it's perfectly fine to go ahead and create um, an object. And uh, we'll go ahead and create that. I want it to be the same size as my document here, which is 8.5 by 11. Okay, and I'm going to just center it on there. And I'm going to select this color just so that we have a color in the background. And then I also want to import a object. Now I've got it over here on another screen that you can't see, but I'm just going to drag a, a logo onto here. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I go to this new master layer here at the bottom. That's the most important thing. If I were to go to just new layer, then the layers would not translate into uh, Photoshop layers. So I'll click that first. All right, and it shows up over here as layer two. And I'm just going to call that logo so that we know we can keep track of that. All right, and I make sure that I am on that layer. And then I'll go ahead and do my import. I'm going to click and drag that in. All right, so there's my logo. And I can test to see if it's on the right layer by just this little eyeball here. I can click it off and on. And as you can see, the orange rectangle behind it is not being affected by that. So I know that I'm doing what I wanted to do. I'm just going to go ahead and size that and stick it here. And just for the sake of knowing that we have more than just two layers, I'm going to go ahead and create another layer. So go down here again to the new master layer. Click on that. Uh, this time I'll call it lettering. Got it. Doesn't matter what I call it. Just like in Photoshop, you can call it whatever you want. And this time I'm just going to go ahead and put some lettering on here. So I'll call this lettering one. Got it. And this is really not important to do, but what the heck, I'm in here. I may as well change the font. You people that use Corel Draw know what I'm talking about. Maybe some of the Photoshop people don't care. But anyway, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to change it to a color. And again, let's just do one more layer so we know what we're looking at here. So one more layer. I'll call that lettering two. And I'll go ahead and make that lettering two. All right. And I'm just going to actually go here and drag this down and say all properties. So that way I'll refresh this window. So that way I have it there, but lettering too. And I'll go ahead and change the color on it just so that we know what we're doing. So when I look over here at my layers palette inside of Corel Draw, you can see that there is the logo. You can see that there's lettering one and that there's lettering two. And then there's my background or my guide layers that I have right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this or export that. That's what's important. Not save, but export. So I'm going to say export. And I'm going to find the folder that I want to put it in. Make sure that I call it something. I'm just going to call this uh, test. Whoops, I know how to spell it, right? Test. And I'm going to make sure that it is a Photoshop file. And then I'm going to click export. And then when this dialog comes up, this convert to bitmap, I just have to make sure I maintain the aspect ratio and 
I have to make sure that I check this box right here. Maintain layers. That's what the most important part of this is. So when I say OK, it exports that. Now, let's go ahead and go to Photoshop. Let's get Photoshop up. There it is. OK, so now in Photoshop, I can just go ahead and find that file. Go to File, Open. And I'll just go ahead and look for that file. Where did I put it? Put it over here and on there. Sorry about this, guys. I lost where I was going to put everything. All right, there we are. So now here is my test uh, PSD file here. So I'll go ahead and open that. And there it is. And then you can see over here in the layers palette that those layers translated just fine. There's my layer two or my lettering two. There's my lettering one and my logo. So now once we're inside of here, then of course we can do, these are subject to anything that we would want to do um, in Photoshop and those will all go ahead and translate. I'll go ahead and make a, I'll pull this up here and go ahead and do a drop shadow or whatever I want to do and that'll take care of it. Okay, so that works as it's supposed to. Um, that is our tutorial for the week. Um, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share my page so that I can get more people looking at my tutorials. And um, thanks for looking at my video, and I will see you next week. Thanks.